Hello everyone and welcome to another Fade Rose Creations tutorial. So this quick little tutorial is going to show you how to use Tray Importer to get your sim out of game. So first thing you need to do is just create your sim and then you're going to save her. Easy peasy. Now we're going to exit game. Alright, so once you've exited game, um, and if you're worried about it not saving just by saving your sim to the gallery, you can go put your sim on a lot, but it should save when you put them in the gallery. So after you do that, make sure you go to Lumiverse Sim, Lunaverse Sims <laughs> and click download this file and you're going to download Sims 4 Tray Importer. Once you have that downloaded, it should go somewhere like your desktop. Then when you click here, you should see your sim. Now go over to CC and it should take a second to load and then you're going to click save, include CC. Don't include CC if you're going to post your sims for public download like Patreon. Um, most creators don't allow their content to be included in uh, folder sharing and stuff like that. So you'd want to grab the links to the CC and then package it without the CC. But if you're just like sharing it with your friends or something like that, you can package the CC. Click save. And you'll want to check that you don't have um, your mods included like Wicked Whims and stuff like that. I don't really have any mods in right now. So then you just click export and save it wherever and when you're done it should save a zipped file on your desktop or wherever it is where you decide to save it. You can also use Tray Importer to see um, some inconsistencies in your mods. So like these mods um, something that this mod depends on is missing. It's not in the game. Orange means there's duplicates. So I have like hella duplicates because I don't take the time to go through and organize my stuff. Um, and then of course you can look at all the other ones and see what they mean. But red and orange, blue are the most important. And you can right click and it'll show you what folder it is. You can also use find on Google to find the links to your sim content so that you can share it with other people. So that is how you use the Sims 4 train porter. See you in the next one.